Good morning students. In this video, we will discuss the steps in minimizing the functional dependencies. We have to follow these three steps to reduce the set of F. This meaning is that if I have, what is meant by minimizing the functional dependencies set? If I have four FDs, the same work can be done by the two E functional dependencies, then I can reduce the set of four to set of two. Is it clear? So that is what we will try to do it in the, this process. Now, what is the step one is split the FDs. FDs means functional dependencies such that right hand side contains single attribute. The step one they are saying is that if you have a functional dependency called x determines yz, then you can split it into two functional dependencies called as x determines y and x determines z. They will be useful for you to reduce the functional dependencies. How it is we will discuss now. Now the second step is that identifying the redundant FDs and remove them. We have to identify the redundant FDs. If you see that x determines y, yeah, then y determines z, then we can say that x can be determined z indirectly. Are you able to understand? x determines y, y determines z, then I can determine x determines z. Is it clear? Again, they are given the functional dependencies x determines z. But with the use of these FDs, I can determine x determines z. So I don't need to have this extra functional dependency. Are you able to understand? Is it clear? So I have re removed the x determines z and I made it into two functional dependencies. And the third step is identify the redundant attributes on the left hand side and remove them. So here we have tried to remove the means not remove we have split it into two attributes from the right hand side. Now they are checking can we reduce the attributes on the left hand side and so that we can reduce the functional dependencies. What it is saying? X, Y determines Z. When, now what is the left hand side consists of? It consists of more than one attribute. Now my point is that if X, Y combined can determine Z, why, can't, why can I make it that, I mean, is it possible Y alone can determine Z? If Y alone can determine Z, what is the need of X? Are you able to understand? If X, in this example they have given that X, Y determines Z. I need to check can Y alone can determine Z or X alone can determine Z. If Y alone can determine Z, I can eliminate the X from this functional dependency. How I can check Y alone can determine or X alone can determine Z or not? X can be removed if Y closer contains X. Is it clear? If Y can determine the X, obviously Y alone can determine Z, then I no need to have X. Is it clear? X is already depending on Y, how it can determine the Z. So, Y alone can determine Z. Or, Y can be removed if X closer contains Y. Is it clear? So, we will try to remove X if possible. If it is not possible, we will try to remove Y. If both are not possible, we will keep like this only. Because we don't have any other option. X, Y, Z, we, we cannot reduce it. Is it clear? I hope you have understood the explanation for each step and to make you understand in a proper way in the next video I will take few examples so that you can practice them more thoroughly and you can solve the gate questions very easily. Okay. I request everyone to go through the all the videos in a sequence for a better understanding and if you are really liking, liking my teaching so I request you to like my videos share the videos with your friends so that your friends also can study and subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you so much